we know how the price is set the price is set by the altercation by the fight of the two forces the demand and supply the price in the market is set by the forces of demand and supply these two forces operate and we get the equilibrium price now we know that in the picture given in the on your screen dd is the demand curve ss is the supply curve now where both these curves meet we get the equilibrium price which is p in this case and the equilibrium quantity which is q in this case so we see that the forces of demand and supply set the equilibrium price they also set the equilibrium quantity so the price in this case is op and equilibrium quantity is oq now let's see why is the firm a price taker we've already discussed about this in the last slide let's get into the details of it now now in this case in this slide we have two graphs for you the first graph is the graph for the market for the industry as a whole and the second one is for the individual seller who is a part of the market who is a very minute part of the market now we have the market demand and the market supply with the curves dd and ss in the first graph so the price set in the market is p now what happens is this price has to be accepted by the individual seller because the seller is a price taker it has to accept whatever price is set by the market now why does it have to except whatever price the market sets it's because you have large number of sellers the large seller here refers to the number of sellers you have many sellers innumerable sellers in the market so each seller becomes a very small a tiny a minute part of the whole market so when you are a very tiny part you cannot impact the whole market it's like a tree is a very tiny very minute part of the whole universe so even if a tree is cut down it won't affect the universe it might affect you in whose garden that tree was planted but it won't affect the whole universe as a whole in the same way if it rains in your locality it will affect the people in that locality but it will not affect the whole universe because your locality is a very tiny very minute part of the whole universe it does not affect pluto it does not affect sun in the same manner a seller is a very minute part of the whole market because there are innumerable number of sellers many sellers so whatever he makes the price it doesn't affect the market he will only lose the business in either case that is he increases the price what the market has set or he reduces his price than what the market has set in both the cases he lose his business so he'll have to accept the price that the market has set the other reason is the product is identical since all the sellers are selling the same kind of product an individual seller can't change the price now if he changes the price that is he increases the price the buyers won't buy from him because the same product is being sold by other sellers at a reduced price comparatively so he'll lose business 
again if he reduces the price he will be sold out but in any case in a perfectly competitive market the seller will always be sold out so if he is selling at a reduced price he will incur losses to the tune of the reduction i won't say that would be losses it would be reduction in revenue he might earn a lesser revenue because in any which case he is going to sell out his produce if he produces 100 units he is still going to sell out if he is producing 1000 units he is still going to sell his all the output at the price set by the market so if he is selling at a lower price he will incur a loss or a reduction in revenue to that extent so this is the reason why a seller will never make the price in a perfectly competitive market he will be a price taker that is he will accept the price that is set by the market so in this case the price set by the market is p and thus we see that the price for the individual seller is also p it's the same so the seller has to accept the price here he becomes the price taker now we know that this line p is the price line for the firm this line is also the demand curve for the firm how is it the demand curve because i told you the seller is going to sell out that is whatever number of goods he produces he will be able to sell them now we know that p is the price which is set in the market he'll have to sell all his products at this price so if he's producing q1 he still have to sell at a price of p if he's producing q2 he still have to sell at this price only if he's producing q3 he again have to sell it at the price p because price p is set by the market he'll have to accept it so whatever the quantity he is going to produce he'll have to sell it at the price p and thus we get the demand curve which is the same as the price so this becomes the demand curve for the firm we can see that various quantities are being sold at the price p only thus this becomes the demand curve for the firm thus we can say p equals to d that is the price curve equals to the demand curve